Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. As you can probably tell by the title of this video, it's going to be a little bit more serious than my other videos that I generally post on this channel. But as you guys know, I like to be really open and honest and share my life with you guys and I felt like this was a dramatic life change that I needed to make a video about and I really wanted to share my thoughts and reasoning behind it with you guys. So like I said, as you can tell from the title, I decided to leave my school program. Um, for those of you who don't know, I was currently in graduate school studying to become a physical therapist. So in April 2016, I graduated from regular college with a Bachelor of Science in Rehabilitation Science and then I moved down here to Miami to pursue my doctorate of physical therapy at a school in this area. So I graduated straight from undergrad and then I decided to come to graduate school and I was really really excited to get into the program and to be a physical therapist and learn all these cool things and be able to fulfill one of my childhood dreams. But Obviously, things didn't really go as planned, so um, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a background about my story and everything as well. So ever since I was a very, very young child, I thought that I wanted to be a physical therapist. I have two younger brothers, and the youngest one is several years younger than me, and he was born with some health conditions that required for him to get physical therapy ever since he was pretty much an infant. So while I was growing up, I was always surrounded by PT, and I thought that it was really, really awesome how my brother's physical therapist helped to teach him how to walk and develop the motor skills that he needed in order to be a normally functioning adult. And thankfully, he is totally fine nowadays. He has very, very little health problems. Um, but I was just always struck by how awesome physical therapy was. And in school, I always particularly loved science as well, so I thought that PT and science sort of merged together and that would make like a great dream career. So probably since I was in like early high school, maybe even eighth grade, I thought that I wanted to be a physical therapist. And I volunteered at the Special Olympics. I volunteered at a basketball camp where it was basketball for people who use wheelchairs in their everyday lives. I also volunteered in several different clinics and got different views of physical therapy. And every time I did it, I just felt so fulfilled afterwards because I knew that I was directly helping people and having a positive impact on their lives. So I really did feel like I was going to feel fulfilled as a physical therapist. And then I came to grad school and I will admit I liked it at first and I have no problems with my program at all. I was doing really, really well in my program. I really appreciated all of my teachers. I could tell that they were very well educated and passionate about the field and I was getting all A's in all of my classes but as time sort of went on, I realized that I wasn't as happy as I used to be. And I think that in the back of my mind, I have always been a creative person, but I've never really allowed myself to consider that as a career choice. Even in high school, I remember talking to my friends and being like, you know, I'm gonna be a physical therapist, but if I could choose any job in the world, I would want to be a photographer because I really love photography and film photography at the time. And I guess I sort of always carried that with me because I started my Instagram account when I was a junior in college and undergrad and then I started my YouTube channel about a year or so afterwards and I really fell in love with it because I was doing something that I was so passionate about. I really wanted to share the vegan message with other people and to show people how it could be accessible but at the same time I definitely have an artistic eye and I love taking photos and filming videos and cooking and creating recipes. So when I first started my account, I had every intention of being a full-time physical therapist. I never thought my account would grow. I never thought people would actually like what I would post. I just kind of was doing it for myself as a fun project. But as the years have gone on and my account has grown and 
I now realize I just I have this opportunity um, to reach so many people and I feel blessed and honored to have interacted social media wise at least um, with every single one of you and it's just crazy because I mean I think everyone says but this but when you start your account like you don't think it's gonna turn into anything and I was never really attacking it with a thing like oh I'm gonna turn this into my full-time career and I'm gonna grow my account and turn like super famous and for the record I don't think I'm famous right now by any way shape or form but when I look back on it like I started my YouTube channel like two-ish years ago and I I have over 170 something thousand subscribers and I have about the same number on Instagram and like that is a lot of people. So I've kind of been skirting around the issue now but if you haven't gotten it by now I dropped out of school slash left my program because I really want to pursue what I have been doing on social media and that was a really hard um, decision for me. I officially left my program a few days ago but I wanted to give myself some time to sort of mentally process everything and work through everything and I think it's going to be a while before you guys see this video and I also wanted to give myself some time to sort of like calm down and stop crying so hopefully I don't actually cry in this video but I apologize if I do and yeah I kind of wanted to tell you guys what was going through my head and how it all happened so around like six months ago or so I would say that I was still enjoying the classes in my program and I thought the information was interesting but I didn't feel as passionate about it and when I've been in school I've always studied really well in order to get A's but whenever I study something related to physical therapy I would like actually enjoy studying and want to go above and beyond to really learn the material because it was something I was just genuinely fascinated in. But slowly by slowly, I found myself sitting in class and instead of paying full attention, I would be daydreaming about a YouTube video that I wanted to make or a recipe or a photo that I wanted to post on Instagram. And I realized that as time went on, I was sort of half-assing all of my classes and doing the bare minimum to get A's. Now, PT school is hard. I don't want people to think that I dropped out because I was failing or anything like honestly I was getting A's in all my classes like I was still able to grasp the information and I still found it relatively interesting but it just wasn't a priority in my life and it was starting to really bother me because I felt like I was being torn between two things like I have a social media account that I love and that I want to fully dedicate myself to but at the same time I'm in this doctorate level program that's really hard and demanding and I wanted to do both of the things but I wasn't really seeing how the two things were coming together and I felt like I was being torn between the two and the last six months like overall I'm pretty good at coping with stress so I've been okay but I will admit that they have taken a toll on my emotional and physical stress levels and I would say overall health just because I was either studying as hard as I could for school or working as hard as I could for social media and I didn't really let myself have any free time or any time to relax like as soon as I'd wake up in the morning it would be go 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 until I go to bed and I would do the same thing over and over again even on the weekends because I had class during the week I would work on social media stuff during the weekends and have to make enough to last me like through the whole week little things sort of kept popping up and I guess making me feel like maybe physical therapy wasn't the profession for me. Like I would look at my teachers and see how empowered they were and how happy they were teaching the subject and I, I would look at some of my classmates and I could just see their faces light up as we're learning this new material and I just didn't feel the same way. I could learn the material and I can reiterate the material and I can follow the system but my heart wasn't in it and I think I tried to hide that from myself for a very long time because like I said I've always wanted to be a physical therapist or I thought that that's what I wanted to do ever since I was a little kid so it's always been a major part of my identity and who I thought I was as a person um so it took me a lot of time to realize that maybe that's not who I wanted to be anymore okay I'm gonna calm down and then I'll keep talking <laughs> 
Sorry about that. So I think anyone who's been in a similar situation can probably relate to this and you really feel kind of stuck because you, I, I just didn't know really who I was or what I wanted to do with my life and I couldn't see the grand picture of my life and if I was going to end up happy. And I think a lot of people experience this like after they graduate college where you identify a lot as a student and that's what you've been doing your whole life and then you go to the working world and you're like, whoa, my life is completely different. I don't have a set schedule as much. What am I doing? And I guess it's sort of like an existential crisis, but for me, I kind of felt the same way in school. Like I felt like my life was diverging down to two different paths and I either had to choose physical therapy or choose social media because while I was doing okay in both things, there's so much more I want to do with social media and I feel like you guys give me so many awesome video requests and I have so many video ideas and things that I want to do and plans that I have where I want to show people how veganism can be accessible and how anyone can live a healthy lifestyle and it doesn't matter if you make X amount of dollars a week or a million dollars a week and that's just what I have become to be passionate about but I feel like I wasn't able to fully dedicate my time to that while I was still in school and for a while I tried to convince myself that eventually I would be able to make my physical therapy and the social media channel merge and I was trying to come up with ideas being like you know it's gonna be okay I'll have a doctorate degree and I'll be making more money and I'll find a creative way to do it and it's gonna work out and it's so much easier to just focus on the daily to-do list like oh this is the homework I have to complete versus focusing on the grand picture and really evaluating and seeing if you're happy because when I think about it all the time that I spent in school, I wasn't really happy. I wasn't fulfilled, like I was okay. I was going through the motions and I thought that that's what I needed to do in order to succeed in life, but I wasn't happy and I wasn't passionate about what I was doing. And like I said, I think that if I chose to stay in graduate school, I obviously would have had job security and I would be able to have a plan for my life, but I just don't feel like that's the plan that I'm meant to follow. And I know I feel like a lot of people will post on social media being like, oh, I'm not going to college or I'm dropping out of school to pursue social media. And I think that a lot of people sort of judge them for it. And I'm kind of ashamed to admit that Sometimes I would judge people for it too in the past and I just want to say I'm sorry to all those people because now that I'm in this situation I feel the same way and I wouldn't want someone to think that about me. I'm a, I'm a pretty spiritual person so I've been thinking about this and meditating and praying about it for a while and like I said whenever I pushed it off I would be okay and everything would be fine as long as I wasn't thinking about like what am I going to do with my life, am I really happy? But every time like at the end of my yoga practice or when I'm just really thinking about it and trying to listen to myself, all these emotions would come up and I would feel like I just wasn't really following the right path because when I think about it, I am so blessed to have the opportunity to share something that I'm passionate about with hundreds of thousands of people and I feel honored to even say that and I guess at one point I just realized that it would be a waste just to throw that away when doing these things are what really make me happy and what we really make me feel fulfilled as a person and for a while I didn't want to admit that because I thought a lot of people were going to be disappointed in me and I think a lot of us don't want to appear vulnerable and I think a lot of people think that my life might be perfect and I have everything figured it out because I'm on top of all my shit and I can post YouTube videos and do well in graduate school and still have a smile on my face but I just want to let you know that I'm not perfect and I've been going through something too and I don't think we should expect anyone to be perfect and I know this decision in some people's eyes may not be the smartest one 
and I may not have financial security like 10 years from now and I'm I do have a plan and I do have things that I want to accomplish um and I know that life is going to go on and I just feel like choosing this path is the right path for me and is what's going to make me happy in this moment because at the end of the day I can't compare or I can't base my happiness based on the thoughts of other people. I'm the only person who is in control of my happiness and if other people are gonna judge me or think negatively of me because I have decided to do something that may not be in line with the status quo then that's on them, that's not on me, and I shouldn't let it get to me. And also at the same time, I feel like I was looking for some sort of validation through other people and asking other people to help me make this decision. And then I realized that that's the exact same thing. I have to make the decision for myself. And I truly believe that this is the path that I'm meant to follow and that I'm meant to, I don't know do with my life. I'm not being very eloquent right now, I'm sorry. So I'm no longer in graduate school and I've decided to fully dedicate myself to my activism online and honestly after I decided to do that and firmly set my foot down and was like this is what I'm going to do with my life, I just felt such a relief in my heart and I just felt like this huge weight was lifted off my shoulders and I feel so much more happy and warm myself right now than I have felt in the last like six months. And it just, it feels so nice to do, to just have the freedom to do something that you're passionate about, you know? And I'm not filming this video to tell anyone to drop out of school or that you don't need to go to college in order to succeed in life. But at the same time, if you were in a similar situation to what I was and you feel like like you're stuck and you're scared of what people are going to think of you because you might choose something that may not be as financially as rewarding or have as much job security, like it's okay to follow your heart and trust in yourself. And you have to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, no one else is going to believe in you. And that took me a while to realize, but at the end of the day, I do believe in myself. And I'm not a person, I don't have perfect confidence, and I'm not like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be totally fine, I'm going to be a millionaire. Like, I don't care how much money I make, honestly. Like, my one goal is to feel happy and fulfilled with my life. And I just feel like this choice was the right choice for me. And so if you guys take anything away from this, I want you to take away that life's not perfect and really you should follow your heart because if you're doing something that makes you feel fulfilled no matter how much money you may make or may not make no matter how many people judge you because of it as long as you're doing what makes you happy that is everything that you need and you shouldn't be judging your happiness off of what anyone else thinks of you anyways so now what you might be asking, well, I'm going to be posting more on YouTube. For a while, I was only posting one video a week, but I'm going to be posting two videos a week now um, because I do want to connect with you guys more. And I do have long-term plans. I have an ebook that I've been wanting to work on for a really long time, and I'm finally going to be able to get it done and just have peace of mind and also have free time in order to take care of myself and take care of my own mental health and allow myself to relax and I definitely don't have my life figured out I'm staying in Miami until my lease ends next May but after that I don't know where I'm going to move where I'm going to live right now I make enough money to pay for my rent and my groceries but that could all change in a matter of months who knows but honestly in this moment I am happy and I believe that I will be okay and sometimes life is messy but I honestly do not regret any of the decisions that I have made. I don't regret my decision to move down here. I think everything happens for a reason. I think all of my wonderful classmates and professors that I met, I'm so blessed to have been able to spend a year with them. And I've met so many awesome friends down here outside of my program. So I'm so grateful that I chose to move down here. 
And while now I have to start paying off my student loans for a program that I didn't finish, I still think it's going to be okay and that life is going to figure itself out. <laughs> and I am confident in that. And yeah, so for the next few months, I'm going to be working really hard, working my butt off. I don't think it's going to be easy, but I think it's going to be fulfilling. And I'm definitely going to be doing some soul searching and figuring my life out as well. I feel like I've been talking in circles and this video has been going on forever. So if you made it through this whole thing, thank you for watching and thank you for caring. And I hope this video helped you in some way to realize that it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to put yourself in a vulnerable position and it is more than okay to choose your own happiness in life. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you for everything. Thank you for supporting in me. Thank you for believing in me. And honestly, every single comment, I appreciate it so much. And you all have touched my life so much more than you know. And you just make me feel so blessed and so grateful for all that I've been given in life. And yeah, before I continue to cry everything, <laughs> I'm just going to end this video, and I will see you in the next video. I promise it will be a more entertaining one, and there will probably be food involved, if that's why you're here. Okay, bye.